Well, democracy is not a fragile flower, but still it needs cultivating. Meaning to say, though democracy is a very strong setup of government, but we need to keep bringing in changes. We need to keep looking at it to see that it functions the way it should. Well, two important terms which have been influencing or two things which have been influencing the working and working of democracy are pressure groups and movements. Now, let us see what is a pressure group and what is a movement. A pressure group is that group which is not directly involved in the working of the government. That is, they are not a part of the government. They have actually, they are actually not sitting in the parliament, but they are those people who are bringing about big influence on those people who are sitting in the parliament. They are the people who are trying to put all the pressure on those people. The pressure which they can put on the government through different ways and methods is in fact an organization called as the pressure group. Now, remember they are not into political power. They do not have any political base. They are the ones who are actually influencing the politics of the country. Now, pressure groups are formed by those people who have a common interest, who have a common occupation, who have a common aspiration. It could be the teachers, the lawyers, the professionals, the business group who have certain aims in mind, who are looking forward to certain changes in the society and they form pressure groups for their own particular segment. Now, movements. Movements are those which are popularly called as people's movement. For example, you have already seen the people's movement in Nepal, the way they try to restore democracy there. Now, when we talk of in India, the people's movement, I am sure you have heard of Narmada Bachao Andolan. The movement for right to information, the movement for anti liquor, the movement of for women, women, the movement for environment. So, issue related groups which are not just meant for themselves are the movements. Okay? And these movements differ from the pressure group because the pressure group has a common set objective and they try to influence and bring about that change by pressurizing the government. Whereas, a movement is very, very informal and flexible. It largely depends on the participation of the people, on what the people are aspiring and wanting for. It could be if there is lesser participation or if it could be that people are not wanting what the movements are looking forward to, they change their policies. They are very flexible. They work in the interest of the people. They work according to the wishes of the people. So, the biggest difference is movement is for the people, very flexible, whereas pressure group is for a particular segment of the society very, very rigid, looking forward to their own interest and common aspiration. Well, that is the biggest difference you must always remember of the pressure group and movements. We shall continue about it in the next clipping.